All right, so let's go over the drone registration and get this over with because no one wants to do this. So it's required by law now because a lot of people are idiots and they want to fly their drone where you're not allowed to. White House lawn over uh, emergency responders, just doing stupid shit, being uh, flying in uh, airports. You know, these things are so easy to fly now. Uh, anyone can fly them and it's like a video game. You just go wherever you want. So. That's why you had uh, introduction of no-fly zones, and now we have drone registration, so people are responsible when these things end up crashing or you know uh, wherever they end up. At least they'll have a you know a, a registration number where they you can backtrack and see who's the idiot that screwed up. So if you're smart and uh, you know you play you play it safe, you're not uh, stupid with your drone. You sh you're gonna be okay. This isn't. Uh, this, is, this isn't a big deal. A lot of people are making a lot of issues about this. Well, if you aren't really doing anything illegal, you're not flying it like an idiot, then uh, I don't see what the problem is. So, it's just like a car. We have to register our cars. You, you know, you have to register your drone now. Um, couple of guidelines. Here's what they say after you, after you get your... So, if you go on the uh, Federal Aviation Administration's uh, UAS uh, registration website... You, you do a quick registration, it's five bucks. Um, I got my five dollars refunded, which I believe ended if you did it within the first month. So, let's just go over on the, you're gonna get, they're gonna print out a certificate, you're gonna have a certificate number, which is like, let's just say it's like your license plate of your car, which has to be on the drone. Um, and then they give you kind of this little printout. I don't know, I don't think you have to have it with you, but I printed it. I have I print out the certificate and I have a copy on my phone. I just throw it in my case just to keep it with me just in case I get stopped or anything or blah blah blah. Just I have a I can prove registration because it gives you a certificate holder which is going to be you, the owner. It's going to give you an issue date and expire. So I would actually just just keep this just to play it safe. I, you probably it is required to have it, so just have it. Keep the certificate with you. Um says guidelines for flying an unmanned, your unmanned aircraft. Fly below 400 feet. The software uh, on the, at least the, D, this is going to be just for the Phantoms, so if you have a, something else, uh, I'm not sure, but just for the Phantoms, fly below 400 feet. Software does not let you fly above 400 feet. There's a way to get around it, I'm not going to tell you, but uh, 400 feet is the maximum. The reason is, is because you have different air spaces and, and, uh, Let's say like a news helicopter, they're allowed to fly within a certain, they're allowed to fly from 400 feet up to blah, blah, blah. If you go above that 400 feet, you weren't cleared to be in there. You weren't cleared to be in that airspace. Um, if they don't know you're there, then guess what? You can have a mid-air collision. So never fly near other aircraft. Um, this goes for hot air balloons, for, uh, you know, just anything else. Yes. 400 feet is you're allowed to be there, but just uh, just just be cautious when you're flying. It's uh, no, it's these. This is all stuff that you should already be doing. Um, visual line of sight. A lot of people don't do this. I'm guilty of it. I don't fly within line of sight, but um, I will. Like if I don't fly line of sight, I'll be in the middle of the desert and I'll be flying out. You know, half a mile this way where there's nothing. Um, if you're flying in a city or something, then you're being an idiot. Because if you hit a... It, say you're flying in a city like New York and you're going through buildings or whatever. And what happens when you lose connection and your drone's going to do a return to home command? It's going to fly directly back. It's not going to dodge the buildings. It doesn't... It doesn't ha it's not smart enough to do that as, as of yet. Um, so, visual line of sight. Make sure you can see it. If you want to play it really safe and you want to fly really far, get a spotter. Um, keep away from emergency responders. I see a lot of people on YouTube say there's a fire in a building. Uh, don't get me wrong, the, the footage that they get is beautiful, but let them do their job. Uh, they already came out with some sort of weapon, not weapon, but some sort of, uh, I would say it's a signal blocker that, that will uh, disable the drone from being... Uh, It'll, it'll just totally throw the whole drone. I don't know how they do it. I don't know if it's noise or whatever, but they'll just shoot like a sound wave straight at the drone and it'll screw up the gyroscope or whatever's built in and, the whole, and then it'll just fall out of the sky. 
which is required now because people are just being idiots with this stuff. Um, never fly over stadiums, sports events, groups, or people. Groups of people would be the one to stay away from. Um, stadiums and sports events with the no-fly zones, you, you can't go anyway. The drone just won't go there. So groups of people stay away from. And um, I've seen on YouTube videos people throw shit at the drone while it's in the air. And uh, you could even lose your drone just because people want to get their shoe, take it off, and throw it at the drone. Just because you're flying too close to them and, you know, people are curious, they're going to do stuff like that anyway. Never fly under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Personally, I, I don't think that's fun. It'd be kind of a pain in the ass to do it if I was drunk. I don't, I don't care to do it. It's just, it's just not me. But, just heads up, just like a car, no, uh... Don't fly under, don't be high or, you know, I could understand if a lot of people smoke weed, so maybe they're flying around high, but, uh, whatever. Next. Don't fly within five miles of an airport without first contacting air traffic control and airport authorities. A lot of people are guilty of this just because their house is within a five mile radius. They can't really do anything about it. They're going to fly anyway. So new rules is you have to contact air traffic control. A lot of people contact air traffic control, uh, specifically hot air balloons when they're going up. They let air traffic control, hey, we're flying in this area, we'll be at this altitude maximum, blah, blah, blah. So you're going to have to contact air traffic control. It's not really a big deal. Just let them know. It's better that they know They know that you're, something is over there, something's happening, something's flying, and they can divert traffic around you. So just play it safe. Um, the next thing is going to be the... Your uh, UAS certificate number, which is required to be placed on the drone. Now, this is, uh, I'm going to show you guys how I did it, which I think you guys, this will be easier for you. If you go on, uh, if you have a label printer, this is basically what I came up with. This is my, this is going to be my little tag. I, I blurred it out, obviously, with tape. But this is the full number. Now, if you look this up, I, I don't, I, it's probably public record, or the authorities can look it up. This is going to relate back to when you were registering. It's going to have all your information. So this is like your license plate. If anything, say you're flying, you're being an idiot, and um, whatever, the drone falls out of the air, damages someone's car. Uh, if you did not have this, you know, you're not really liable because no one knows whose drone this is. But now that this is on here, it's now going to say that, oh, let's look it up. That's who it is. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Where's your insurance? Or, you know, you're coming out of pocket to pay for my car. If not, lawsuit. Blah, 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 blah. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to, it's, these are, uh, it's just a label with uh, sticky tape on the back. And these don't come off. This is very strong tape. So what we're going to do is just apply it. Now, where am I going to apply it? Um, it has to be on the drone, visually somewhere. I believe, I don't know if you can do it in the battery compartment, but um, I'm just going to flip it over and put it somewhere. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I just don't want it. We don't want to go anywhere around here because this is all sensors, nothing on the gimbal. Um, I think the best spot, I think I'm going to do it right on the battery. That means I'm going to have to print out, I have three, bat three additional batteries, so I'm going to have to print out extra for that. One of my lights is shutting off. Um, so... Let's just put it there. That's it. Done. We're basically good to go. Uh, it doesn't match. There's my drone registration number. I'm ready to go. And I'm always going to carry my um, my little drone card, my uh, my registration card that shows my expiration date. And that's it. It's, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we did this to ourselves. So, you know, people want to be idiots and they want to fly their drone around. And, uh, you know, crash it in, do, you know, put people's lives at risk as, from airports and all that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is the consequence. Next thing I believe is we're going to have to, you're going to have to take a class to fly these things because they keep, they're just getting so advanced that uh, you're going to have to get certified. Just like, you know, with bad example, but firearms, you want to carry around your gun, you have to get a concealed weapons permit. Uh, you're going to have to get a drone permit just to fly these things. You need to f get one. If you want to do anything commercially or if it weighs over, I believe, 55 pounds. But that's it. That's the basics. One through everything. Simple enough. You know, if you're not doing anything wrong, then there's nothing to worry about. But uh, that's it.
So go register your drone if you didn't. There is a deadline. Um, I believe, I don't even know when the deadline is, but if you're buying your drone or plan to buy a drone, just have this information. Uh, now that you have the information, you're basically good to go. So that's it. And uh, go register your drone.